Hello, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome to tonight's planner party. I am so excited you're here. While we have people joining, I would love to hear in the chat, where are you tuning in from? Where are you joining us from? Boston, Texas, Pennsylvania. Mm. Okay, now the, the chat just exploded. Okay. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, Sarah, you're at a campground right now? That is commitment, girl. I am impressed by that. Also happy for you that your campground has internet. That's fun. Missouri, New Hampshire. Yay, welcome. I am so excited to talk all the planner things tonight. We've got some fun giveaways. We've got lots of stuff for you. So I'm going to dive right in. I know there's still people joining us, but um, they are like, we'll just, we'll just keep going. So we have a lot to share with you tonight. So let's start with where you're joining us from. Tell us in the chat. Most of you are already doing that, which is fun. Southern Iowa, Southern California, Missouri. Yay, I'm so glad you're all here. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have not, if we have not met yet, my name is Casey. I am a wife to my husband, John. I am the mom to two awesome kids, ages 12 and nine. And I am a total planner nerd. I run Anchored Women along with my team, Allison and Stephanie, who are both here tonight. And we are ready to talk planner stuff with you. So our first surprise is that if you are still here at the end of the call, we are actually going to open up the planner for you tonight. So if you want to stick around, you will get early access. That is just a little peek into one of the surprises we're sharing with you tonight. So try your best to stick around. Um, you'll get the all the discounts, the early bird prices, the bonuses, all of that stuff tonight before the planner actually goes live. All right, giveaway number one. We are jumping right into giveaways. So throughout tonight, we are going to have three different giveaways for you. All of them will require you to just tell, tell us the answer in the chat, all right? So to, the first question is, have you used the SOS planner before? And one of you will win a planner, all right? We're gonna give a planner away to someone who answers that question in the chat. Allison is going to pull all of your answers and pick a winner randomly. And we will announce winners actually at tonight at the end of this call. So first giveaway, go ahead and enter. Have you used the SOS planner before? There is no right answer. It's totally fine either way. But if you want to win a planner, go ahead and answer that question. All right, we are going to actually walk through the planner tonight. So I wanna give you just a heads up. This, especially if you're new here, this is not your average planner, okay? It is not a planner that you can go pick up at Target for 20 bucks that has one single layout in it. It is, it is different. It is way more customizable. So the SOS planner, which stands for Steadfast Over Scattered, is actually available in both printable and digital. So you can either print it at home or you can use it digitally on an app like GoodNotes and actually write right onto the planner. It is also, like I said, completely customizable. I'm going to walk you through it, show you all of the details today. And it could be the last planner that you ever need to buy because we have this beautiful thing called an update pack. So when you purchase the planner, which you'll see in a second, you actually are purchasing the full planner. And then as we create new layouts, as we add to the planner, instead of buying the whole planner over again, you have the option to just purchase the update pack. And the update pack just includes the new additions to the planner. So let's take a look. All right, what is new this year? This is for those of you who have 
stuck with us and love the SOS planner, here's what is brand new. We have four brand new layouts, all right? We have the weekly horizontal layout, the new weekly dashboard layout, which is my personal favorite, the new family manager layout, and the new daily brain dump layout. We also, as a response to so many of you who have asked and asked for a Sunday start option, we revamped all of the weekly layouts to also have a Sunday start. So you get all the weekly layouts with a Monday start option, but you also get them as a Sunday start, both in the update pack and in the main planner this year. So four brand new layouts, 13 weekly layouts with a Sunday start included as well. All right, let's talk about how it works, especially if you are new here or if you haven't tried the planner before. It takes a little bit of explanation, but I think you're going to love it. So we've got three steps. The first step is always to reflect and refresh. That takes us to our yearly prep. All right. We have yearly prep at the very beginning of the planner. And at the beginning, we take a little bit of time to think through how did the last season go? What do I need in this current year? And what do I need moving ahead into the next year? Like how we, we have to stop and really figure out how we're doing, how our family's doing, what life is like before we can make any plans for the new year. All right. If you've been coming out of a really busy season and you need something different, or maybe you can't, you're coming into a busy season and you know that you need to kind of gear up for that. We have this yearly prep in place and I'm going to show you a couple more pages of it too, but it's in place for you to really be able to slow down take stock of how life is going before you just rush headlong into the new year. We are all about slow, thoughtful planning instead of doing all the things that you think you should be doing without examining them. You know what I also wanted to mention, if you guys have any questions throughout this, drop them into the chat. Stephanie and Allison are collecting those for me and we will have a Q&A time at the end. So, go ahead and make sure to drop your questions in the chat box. All right, yearly prep. We have um, goal setting as far in, in our yearly prep as well. Just an overview, we have six different categories and we talk about project goals and habit goals as our focus for goal setting. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. And then, an overview of the year ahead. You actually, for this planner, because it's dated July 2023 through June 2024, you get both the 2023 and the 2024 yearly overview. And then we have spaces for you to plan out your ideal day and your ideal week. Following up our yearly prep, we have quarterly prep. So you'll notice that through our planner, we have built in those times of reflecting and refreshing for you. It's right there in the planner so that you can regularly stop and think about what has happened in the last season and what you need going into the new season. So our quarterly prep always starts with a fun page that has to do with the season, summer, spring, fall, winter. We're going to look at summer right now because that's what's coming up for us. And then we start with summer plans. What are the things that you really want to do this in this next season? And then we also talk about creating a seasonal meal plan every single season. So you'll find this for every season throughout the planner, all of the plans for the summer or for whatever season you're in, and then meal planning as well. We also have, again, a reflect and refresh page. Now that is, this one is a little more focused in. If you can see the yearly reflect and refresh as this over, big overarching view, then every time we have another one, we get just a little more focused in on our priorities and what really matters most to us, as, especially when it comes to looking at the season ahead. So we actually have this reflect and refresh process built in every quarter 
and every month. We'll come up on the month soon. So you have a smaller version of the reflect and refresh process right here where you're really just laser focusing in on 90 days of what was what were the last 90 days like and what do I need going into the next 90 days? We always have you set a focus and that focus turns into or your priority or your focus that turns into your filter question for the next season. So you're going to ask yourself as decisions come your way, do these, does this thing align with what I know my priority is for the next season? We have you do this every season so that your daily life and your overarching goals and values are all aligned. What usually happens is, you know, we say these things are important, but then our daily life reflects something totally different because we haven't taken the time to think through are all of these commitments, responsibilities, um, things that I am pouring my daily life into, are they aligned with what I truly value? We want those things to be aligned with what you truly value. And so we have that built into each season. And then we have a breakdown for you to set some goals and break those down into action steps for each season as well. After that quarterly prep, we've got monthly prep. Now, all like I said, each of these, all of this prep work doesn't happen all at once, right? I'm showing it to you all at once, but really it's built in throughout the planner. And that is for a specific reason. We, like I said, we want you to be able to naturally stop and assess how are things going? What do I need? What does my family need at every stage of the game? Natural transitions are as a new season starts and as a new month starts. And so we have those built in for you. Now, your monthly prep always starts with a two-page calendar, although we do have one-page calendar options for you too. If you want to switch it out, totally up to you. And then we get into our monthly meal ideas where we just write out a list of all of the things that we could possibly make this, this month for dinner, breakfast, lunch, and some snack ideas. And then we have one of my favorite pages in the planner, which is our home and heart plans for the month. On the left side, you'll see that they're, that those are really home focused. We talk about, we give you space to write down what projects you're wanting to work on, for this month in particular, and then your chore schedule, whatever like new chore kind of chart or ideas that you are trying to stick with for this season. Um, in our course, Your Anchored Home, we talk about your clean and tidy list. This is where that clean and tidy list would go so that you understand on Mondays, I'm doing this. On Tuesdays, I'm doing this, that sort of thing. Then on the right side, you'll see we have space for you to write down ideas for rest and connection. These are unique to our planner and really, in my opinion, super important. It is so easy for us to very quickly go through our lives without slowing down without intentionally pursuing rest and relationships. And this is the spot each month where you get to stop and say, all right, I know that rest is important to me. I was created for rest, not just work. So how am I going to build that into my life on a regular basis this month? It might be a fun weekend that you get to choose what you want to do. Most of us don't have that. So often my rest ideas look like read for an hour or so each night or um, buy my favorite tea to have on hand this month. All right. But whatever ideas might pop into your mind as far as ways that you can actually find rest and refreshment this month, that's where those ideas go. Then down at the bottom, we have a space for you to write out ways that you can connect with your people, your husband, your kids, your neighbors, your friends, however you can 
build those relationships and make sure that in the hustle and bustle of everyday life, you're keeping those a priority. So you'll find this sheet in every single month of the planner. Lastly, we have our smallest reflect and refresh process that really just focuses in on that month. So every single month you'll find this. We have some reflection questions. We help you define a focus for the month. And then you can use that focus to break down your project goal and your habit goal for each month. So that's monthly prep. The second step is choosing your layout. So the first step, if you remember, was reflecting and refreshing at each transition period throughout the year. So big picture at the beginning of the year with those yearly prep pages, and then quarterly with your quarterly prep, and then at the beginning of every month with that monthly prep. This next section is choosing your layout. And this is where the SOS planner is truly different from any other planner that you will find on the market because you actually get access to a lot of different layouts. You get to choose between weekly or daily layouts. You get all of them. And the reason we do that is because I would love to hear in the chat, how many of you have bought a planner in January? or December even, you got a jump start on it and you used it for a month and a half. And then you realize this planner layout does not fit my life anymore. I need the boxes to look different. I need a daily planner instead of a weekly planner. I need a weekly planner instead of a daily planner. Your life changes, your season changes. And we wanted to create a planner that changes with you. So because our planner is printable and digital, you get to choose which layout you want. So I've got my planner here. I'm right now I'm using one of our brand new layouts, but because I'm using this disc binding system, which we'll talk about later, um, I can switch out my layout. If I want to switch over to a daily layout, all I have to do is print out my new daily layout and stick it in my planner. It is so flexible and customizable. And it really ends up being the last planner that you'll ever need because you get like 17 different planners in one. So let's look at all of those different layouts. All right, before we um, have the actual layout, we have what we call our weekly prep pages. And these are what I use like on Fridays when I'm doing my planning for the week ahead. I use these pages the, the look ahead page to just quickly jot down my meal ideas for the week, my, um, excuse me, my to-do lists for the week, and then anything at the bottom that I don't want to forget. So I'm kind of just brain dumping all of my ideas for the next week onto that look ahead page. Then I'm actually also using that look back page on the same day to reflect on the week that just happened. What went well that week? What was the challenge? And what do I want to change for the next week? And then I also have spaces to write down any memories that I want to remember from the week. So in that way, your planner also serves as a bit of a journal throughout the year so that you can keep tabs on the things that you, may, you really want to make sure not to forget. Every layout comes with one of these. We have actually a new version of this as well this year that you can choose from. And it looks like this. So this week, uh, you'll have a place to write your three priorities for the week at the top. You have that to-do list and the things to remember. And then you would just do your meal planning right on your weekly layout instead. Ginger, I love this one too. It's really fun. <laughs> all right. So let's dive into all the weekly and daily layouts that you get with the SOS Planner. You don't have to choose. They all come with it. So we start with the classic weekly. You'll find on every single one of our planners, two things that do not change. We always have space for your prayers and we always have space for your priorities. We believe that keeping these two things really at the, at the like right in front of your face all week long will help you continue to be praying for the people that you wanna be praying for 
And also keep your priority, your focus front of mind so that your entire week can always kind of come back to those things. On a lot of different layouts, not every single one, but on a lot of our layouts, we also have this daily habits section where you get to write down those things that you're trying to keep track of on a daily basis and check them off each week. That way you don't have to rewrite them every single day. Instead, you get to just check them off here. We all love a good checkbox. Am I right? Anybody else? Is it just me? I love a good checkbox. <laughs> All right, so on the classic weekly, you actually get half a page per day. This is the very first layout we ever came up with. Um, our original planner was called the Organized Life Planner, and it launched with just this layout. And you'll find that the layout is divided into three columns. That first column is for your schedule, your daily plan, whatever it might be. That second column is your to-do list. These are all checkboxes, except the first three things are numbered one, two, three, so that you have a place to write your top three tasks for the day. <clears throat> you have a section for your meals. You have a section called take care, where you can write out what you're working on in your home, what you're working on for your health, and what you're working on for your rest today, along with checking off boxes for your water intake, and then a small section for notes. Again, this is going to start with that look ahead page and end with the look back page, and you get a half sheet for every single day. While I'm going through these, I just thought of this, but I would love to hear from you. As we're going through these, I want to know if you already use the SOS planner, is this the layout that you currently use? Maybe like raise your hand, not raise your hand, but like put a hand emoji if like once I'm on the layout that you actually use. I'd love to see like where people fall. All right, moving on. Classic weekly. We've got the weekly time block. This is one of my favorites. So two page spread. You have three sections per day. Each section has a heading, but it's not labeled. So you can go in and write the labels for yourself. You can say morning, afternoon, and evening, or you can say schedule, work, and home. You can say, um, let's see, well, really whatever you want. Each section can be a person in your family. Um, the headings are blank so that you can put whatever you want there. You'll see on the left side, room for prayers and priorities, and then your meals are along the bottom. This is one of my favorites. I'm going to say that a lot. I really, I like all of our layouts. <laughs> all right. Weekly productivity. Who's using this one? The weekly productivity layout is very similar to the time block, right? Still vertical all the way across both pages, but at each at the top of each um, day, you have a checklist of those basic things that need to get done. Bible time, exercise, chores, and rest. And then you have extra spaces to write in two extra things each day. Um, I know someone's going to ask, these are not editable. They're already put into the planner, um, but we kept them really basic. So what I'll do is like, I'll write next to it what I'm reading in the Bible. I'll write what my exercise plan is for the day. I'll write out what my chore is and then what I'm doing for rest so that I can just check them off as I go down. You can use these boxes any way you want, <clears throat> but I like to put my schedule for the day in the colored box and then the task, my task list for the day underneath. That's how I use it. I know a lot of people use it very differently than that. Um, or, and some people even switch that. So the tasks are at the top and then schedules at the bottom. Some people don't use the schedule at all and they'll write their like top three in the colored box and write the rest of their tasks down below. Totally up to you. You get to pick how to use it. You have a spot across the bottom to track your water intake, and then um, always, always, always a place to plan your meals. You can also see down the side, again, your prayers and priorities. Across the top, too, we have um, this week, so you can write the dates in, and then if there's something that is like the most important that you really don't want to forget that week, you have the box up there. And then on this side, I like to write the Bible verse that I'm working on memorizing at the time into here so that I always have that right in front of my face. But it is totally flexible, completely up to you. 
All right, weekly dashboard. This is our newest weekly layout. We have a few different weekly layouts, but this is my favorite one. One of our community members, Anna Brown, sent me the idea for this and I was like, I'm all about it. This is a great layout. I love it so much. Anna, that was you. Anna, I want you to email us because um, we've got something special for you. Okay, so make sure that you email us today and let us know what your email address is so I can send it back to you. All right. Um, you'll see we have this week and then we have your prayers at the top here. Your priorities are actually found on the dashboard side. Um, one, two, and three. So your priorities for the week, but it's a vertical layout. You can't, it's hard to see here, but these are lined. They're not blank. They're lined. And then you have Monday through Friday here. You have Sunday and Saturday and Sunday at the bottom. And again, all of these weekly layouts are now available with a Sunday start too. So you would just shift everything Sunday to Thursday and then Friday and Saturday are down here at the bottom. Um, over here, we have, you have four different lists, which is really fun. You have the dot grid, you have um, just a regular list, uh, which is like just lines. It's just lines with the heading. Um, this is a list with check boxes. And then you have your daily habits tracker right here. This is the one I'm using right now. I love it so much. It's so helpful. I write all of my home tasks here. I write my work tasks down here. Um, I use this for like a grocery list. And then I'm tracking my daily habits every day with the weekly dashboard. It is, it's pretty great. Good job, Anna. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Stephanie came up with this one. This is our weekly horizontal and it is literally a horizontal layout. You turn your planner to the side. Um, Stephanie really loves to be able to just open her planner and just have one side out, but she wants to see the whole week at once, right? And so you have to, um, if you do the whole week across vertically, they're just too small, right? They're just too small. So we turned it sideways. And um, yes, they are lined. The exposure on the photo just kind of like makes those lines go away, but they are lined. Uh, I cannot write without lines on a planner. It just drives me nuts. So all of everything is lined, I promise. And then on the opposite side of this page is um, your weekly dashboard, that weekly prep page. Um, the new one that I showed you a little while ago, but uh, turned horizontal as well. So if you just want to see your whole week on one page, this one is for you. You have space down at the bottom to plan your meals or write out your priorities for the day, whatever it might be. All right, Allison came up with this one. This is our new family manager layout. It is awesome for the person who is trying to track a bunch of different things or a bunch of different children. All right. So you over here down the side, you can write your family members names. That was our initial idea, but you can also use it however you would like to use it. So you, maybe you put your schedule across the top one and then your work tasks across the second one and your home tasks on the third one. And, you know, calls you need to make or errands you need to run, whatever, however your brain works best, you can make those labels for yourself. But initially we thought mom, dad, and then up to four kids. So this is the new family manager layout of, you can plan your meals along the bottom. Um, we've got prayers right up here at the top, as well as your three priorities for the week. I love how you guys are loving this one. Yes, it's so, it's so good. It's so good. Also, I think it could work really well for a homeschool planner layout. We, we do have our own homeschool planner as well, but if you wanted to do everything right in your planner, this could be a great one for you. All right, we have some bullet journal options as well. This is our single page bullet journal. You'll see the days of the week are down the side here. You've got room for your meals, your top three tasks for the week, and then your major task list. We have your prayers and priorities over here, that daily habit tracker, and then tons of notes space. We also have a version of it of this where instead of all of this note space, it's actually four different quadrants and you can divide it into 
you can divide your tasks into four areas. I like this one too. I know they're all so good. I can't. Okay, Carol, this is one you're using right now. I love it. Okay, this is our one page bullet journal. We also have our two page bullet journal where it goes vertically across two, two different pages and you have your daily habits. Um, words to live by is like the Bible verse or the quote that you wanna focus on for the week. And then right here, we have two separate task lists, home and personal. Um, we also have another version of this where it's, it's in the four quadrants as well. So we call that the bullet journal with categories and it comes in both the two page and in the one page. I just don't have a picture of those right now. All right, now we've got our daily layouts. Those were all the weekly layouts. And to remind you, you get all of them. You don't have to pick, you get access to every single one. All right, then now we have our daily layouts. We have four different daily layouts. This one is our classic daily. It is hourly down one side and then has your task list down the other side room for your meals, your top three tasks of the day, prayers and priorities at the top. You circle the day of the week that it is and then um, write your dates in here, month and day. And then you've got a large space for notes at the bottom. This is, like I said, our classic daily. Then we've got our daily time block. Very similar in appearance, except instead of the two, the two um, columns, you actually have the four quadrants. So you can use this to plan in categories, or you can use this to plan in a time block format. If you follow our YouTube channel, you have, like we have videos on each one, the time block and the categories. So you can, let's, let's start with time block. You can say, um, before breakfast, before lunch, before dinner, before bed. You can say, um, you know, nine to 12, 12 to three, three to six, six to nine. It's totally up to you. You can write in whatever categories you want or you, or whatever times you want, or you can write in categories. So maybe one is your schedule. Maybe one is your home tasks. One is your work tasks. And one is your grocery list for the day. Totally up to you. You can use it however you want. This is our daily time block. Next, we've got our daily breakdown, which is a little more um, detailed. So we have space up at the top for your essentials, the things like kind of like your daily habits that need to get done on a daily basis. You'd write them in right here. You have room for your prayers and priorities. And then you have that hourly schedule down the side and two different task lists, one for home tasks, one for personal tasks, and then a dinner section at the bottom. Um, this is the daily that I was using for a long time until we came out with our new one, which is the daily brain dump. And now that's what I use. I will stop here to tell you, yes, I use a weekly layout and I use a daily layout. Um, what I like to do is keep my weekly layout in my main planner. And then my daily layouts, I bind separately in a smaller notebook. And I just use those daily layouts when I have a day where I need to get everything on paper instead of just going by my weekly plan. So now my daily notebook has this daily brain dump in it. And I love it so much. I love it. So you have room here to write your prayers. Um, this one looks a little brighter. It's still the same colors. It's just the way the photograph turned out. Um, and again, everything is lined, even though it doesn't look like it. <laughs> All right, so you've got room to write your prayers right here. This one is brand new. You haven't seen this layout before. Um, and uh, it is included in both the complete planner and in the update pack. So you have room to write your daily habits, your prayers, and your priorities are down here at the bottom. After you've brain dumped all of your tasks for the day out, you can choose your three priorities. They each have a little checkbox. And then you can schedule all of your stuff into morning, afternoon, and evening. This is our daily brain dump newest layout. Okay, good. Looks like you're, you guys are liking this one too. Yeah, I really like it. Oh, Renee, the weekly split layout. 
I, we do have that. And I forgot to put it in here. I love that one too. How did I miss that? I'm so sorry. We do have another weekly layout. You're right. The weekly split. You can see it on the sales page. That one has every single layout. I really thought I put them all in here, but I missed one. I'm sorry. Um, all right. Just a reminder, you get all the layouts. You don't have to choose except for what you want to use that week. The reason why we do that, like I said, is that we understand your life changes and when your life changes and what you need to write in your planner changes, you need a layout that supports that season of your life. And so you are able to switch it up. Um, sometimes it's just like you have a different, you know, maybe you're in a better or a worse mood than you were last week and you want to look at your week differently. It might be your mood, it might be your emotions, it might be your circumstances and your situation. Whatever it is, I don't want you to feel boxed in by a single planner layout. So you get all of them and you can change it up as you see fit. Like I said, it's really different <laughs> from anything else you'll find on the market. You cannot just go buy this at Target, right? Now, I love a good Target planner, don't get me wrong, but I, I wanted the ability to customize it. And so that's our third step here. You do have the ability to customize this planner to include extra pages that make it perfect for you and your family. You can absolutely make it your own and it comes with quite a few pages for you to be able to do that. So all of these are included with your planner. We have gratitude logs, we have one line a day records, we have a to be read and books that I've read list. Um, you can write down shows you wanna watch, movies you wanna see, favorite meals, restaurants you wanna visit. We have project lists, habit trackers, and a spread that shows you um, that you, where you can plan out the next year. I, I'll show you that, it's here. And then we have a ton of notes pages. I am a notes girl, I need that. So. All of these come with it. I'll show you just a few of them. These are our book lists. You have the to be read list and the books that you've already read. You can rate them. You can jot down notes, totally up to you. We've got our home projects and other projects. So in the home project section, you can note where, like what the location is and check it off when it's done. Here you have your project and then other notes and then check it off when it's done. This is that plan for next year spread that I was telling you about. Um, this is my favorite. I put it at the end of my planner and especially as a year comes to an end and I've got stuff that I need to add to the next planner that I'm going to get uh, or put together really. This is where I jot everything down that's coming up but doesn't have a spot in my current planner. Maybe I'm ending 2023, walking into 2024 but I haven't set my new planner up yet. Here's where I'm going to write all of those things down so that when I have my new planner set up, all I have to do is come to this page and copy everything over into the new planner. So you have the ability to use these customizable pages, make it totally your own. And then we also give you the option to add on the printable vault, which is hundreds of pages that are color coordinated in the same branding and everything in our pinks and our blues that are beautiful and also really practical that you can add to your planner. We're doing a really special discount on this um, for this launch. It's a $67 product, but we're offering it to you as an add-on to the planner for just 17 bucks. So if you want to customize your planner even more, this printable vault is for sure the way to go. All right, who's ready for giveaway number two? You have stuck in there with me through a lot of different layouts. So giveaway number two, we are going to send someone our disc binding punch, our favorite pens, and our very favorite highlighters. Look, I've got them right here. They are amazing. So you get all three of these things. And if you're into disc binding, you know, We'll talk about it in a minute, but the disc binding punch is kind of an investment. So if you want to disc bind, we would love to send you one person <laughs> that binding punch for free. Um, so tell us in the comments, what is your 
favorite layout and one lucky person will win all three of these things. I'll give you a second and take a drink of my water because I see quite a few of your answers coming in. Okay. I love it. Stephanie and Allison, I'm sorry about the giveaways because I know you guys are sorting through all of these to find your, um, to find all the questions. It's going really fast in the chat. All right. We will hit all of your questions at the end. I promise. Okay. Let's talk about binding the SOS planner for just a brief minute because this is a printable planner, right? It is also a digital planner. You can use it on your iPad with your Apple Pencil uh, with an app called GoodNotes. And we uh, talk about that a little bit too. But most of us print it out and bind it at home. All right. So let's talk about how to do that because I know you can maybe feel like, oh, I have to print it and put it together. I don't know how to do that, but it's way easier than you're thinking it might be. So let's talk about that real quick. We've got three different ways for you to bind it. The first is spiral binding. So if you look at this one down here at the bottom, these are my actual planners. Um, if you look at this one down here at the bottom, you'll see that it's a coil binding. And let's see, I think I have it right here. Look, you can see it in person too, all right? The coil binding, you can have this done for four bucks at your local office supply store. You print it out, take it to them. They will bind it for you for $4. If you are a total planner nerd like I am, or maybe a homeschooling mom, I highly suggest getting a binding machine. Um, you don't need to do this as a normal person, okay? I am a total planner nerd, and so I have one at home so I can bind it myself and anytime I want to. Um, if you're a homeschooling mom, that's a great investment because you can put together workbooks, worksheets, whatever. It's awesome. But spiral binding gives you the ability to open up the planner, turn it to one side or another, it's a little more um, flexible than three ring a three ring binder is, right? So spiral binding is your first option. Second, you have that three ring binder option. You can print out the pages, hole punch them and slip them right into a three ring binder. I do remember I saw someone asking, okay, sorry, Anna, I see your question. Can you recommend a spiral binder? I have it in, in our planner shop. Um, the one that I have, and I love it. Um, so if you, Stephanie, if you can share the link to the planner stuff, um, Anna, you can click on that link and you can see our, the one that I recommend. The three ring binder is a great option. I did, rem I do remember I saw someone ask about different sizes. You can print the planner in whatever size you would like. We have three sizes that we recommend. One is full size. Obviously, that's what would go here into the three ring binder. Um, one is mid size. That's this. It's more, it's more like seven by nine. And then we also have that half size. And we have instructions for all three of them. So you can log into your planner account. You can look at all of the instructions. Everything is there for you. And um, <clears throat> whatever size you want to print it at, we have instructions for that. But again, we want it to be flexible, customizable for exactly what is going to fit your life, your family, what's going to fit in your purse, right? To be fair, I leave mine on the counter. I don't usually take it with me. But all right. So we've got the spiral binding option. We've got the three ring binder option. Super easy. Hole punch it, stick it in a binder. Um, with the half size, you can do one of those mini binders too. Those are really cute. And then my very favorite is disc binding. I love disc binding. So why do I love it? It is the flexibility of the three ring binder with the feel of a spiral bind. So raise your hand in the chat if you use disc binding. Renee, disc binding has changed my life. Yes, I agree. I love it so much. So, um, so you get the ability to take 
things in and out of your planner. You can very easily pull the papers out, put them back in without ripping anything. It's just like the ability to move things around in a three ring binder, but you can fold it back and have it be, you know, just like your spiral binder, just one side as a view at all times. So I love disc binding. I love it so much. Um, you can laminate the covers. I didn't even mention the covers, but well, we'll talk about that because it's one of the bonuses, but I laminate my covers with a really sturdy laminate. You can do that in an office supply store or again, be a nerd like me and get your own laminating machine. Um, and, or they have hard bound covers that you can use too. Let's see, do I have one here? Oh yeah. This is a full size, but they're hard, like really thick and um, almost like a, like a linen feel to them. They're really fun. So disc binding gives you a lot of different options. And that is definitely my preferred method. Like I said, it requires the investment of this hole punch. Um, which is one of the things we're giving away in that bonus or in that giveaway from earlier. So three different options, spiral binding, three ring binder, disc binding. All right, let's talk launch week because we have bonuses for you. We have discounts for you. Launch week is always, always the best time to purchase the planner because um, you get the most for your money. So let's give you all the details. SOS planner, if you're buying it by itself, it is the 2023 to 2024 planner dated July of 2023 through June of 2024. Normally this planner is going to be $47, but this week you can get it for just $34. So 13 bucks off. It's a significant amount. Um, the discount won't be this low outside of launch week. All right. You can also get our bundle. If you are like, I need the planner, but I also really want to work on goal setting, we have our complete anchored goal setting system for you. Usually that goal setting system is $47. You can get it in a bundle with the planner this week for just $20. So this bundle is normally $94 total, but this week you can get it for, for 54, excuse me, 54 bucks. All right, I'm going to talk about that anchored goal setting system for just a second in case you're like, what is that? Do I need it? I don't know. Some of you may already have it. If you do already have it, you don't need to buy it again. Don't worry about getting the bundle. Um, but if you haven't tried our goal setting system, this is a video course and workbook. It is quick, easy to consume. Like all of the videos are, I think, between five and 10 minutes. But it is designed to help you set and follow through with goals that fit your season. You know, if you've been with us for the entirety of this call, that we highly value reflecting on your season, figuring out what you can and can't handle in the next 90 days, and then being able to set goals accordingly. We also talk about two primary types of goals, project goals and habit goals. And this goal setting system goes into all of that, helping you set goals that match your season, and then giving you a very clear path forward in order to achieve those goals and then move on to your next ones. So you get access to all five steps that we talk about throughout the course. You also get access to this beautiful workbook to help you figure out what your goals should be, break them down into manageable tasks instead of this big giant goal that you feel like you're never gonna be able to accomplish. We, we set the big giant goal and then we don't look at it again because we break everything down into tiny little action steps that feel super doable. So if you want to really work on goal setting and feel like if you if you feel like you've never been able to really follow through on your goals, I would love for you to try this system because 
we simplify it, we break it down really small, and it's it's very manageable. If any of you have already taken this system and put it into place, and you could tell us in the chat how it simplified your goal setting, I would love to hear from you because um I know I know a bunch of you in here have um have taken it already. So you have the option to get it in the bundle of the planner and the goal setting system for a really low price. So it's only $20 this week when you get it in the bundle. All right, let's talk for a brief second about the update pack. Now, the way this planner is set up is you don't have to buy a brand new one every year. That is not our goal for you. Our goal for you is to get the planner um, as a complete planner one time. And then if you need the, like if you want the new things that we release every launch, all you have to do is buy the update pack. So this update pack includes just our four new layouts and it includes all of the Sunday start, like all of the weekly layouts that you already own if you own the planner, all of those in a Sunday start option. The update pack also always includes those dated monthly calendars so that you can update your planner for the new year uh, with those dated calendars. So you have the option to get just the update pack or you have the option to get the update pack and that goal setting bundle. So you can get the goal setting system in the planner bundle or in the update pack bundle, totally up to you. All right, giveaway number three. This is the last giveaway before um, we do a couple more things. I'm gonna tell you about the bonuses that come with the launch this season and, um, and answer all of your questions as well. But let's do the giveaway for number three. Why do you plan, all right? Why do you love planning or why do you feel like planning helps you? What is your reason for planning? For me, I will tell you, it is to get my brain onto paper so that I can sort it all the things out in a way that makes sense, is organized and gives me that like clear path forward. It also helps me think through what my real priority is, like we've talked about a lot tonight, and how I can align even my daily task list with what matters most to me and to my family. So tell us in the chat, why do you plan? And Allison is going to randomly choose one of you uh, once you're all done entering it. She'll put all your names in and do a we'll announce the winner at the end. So three giveaways, there's the last one. All right, let's talk bonuses that come during the launch week of this planner. Launch week technically starts tomorrow, but like I told you at the end of this call, I'm gonna give you the early access link so that if you wanna shop tonight, you totally can. You don't have to even worry about launch week. So bonuses in this planner. You get access to the planner setup workshop, which is a pre recorded workshop where we help you identify the best layout for you. We also have a planner quiz that helps with this as well. Um, and then we talk through our prioritized planning method, helping you learn how to plan in a way that is priority driven instead of um, throwing everything onto your planner and trying to figure out how to get it all done. Instead, we want you to really thoughtfully think about what is going to um, align with your priorities. And we train you how to do that in this workshop. Um, we also talk about how to customize your planner for your personal needs. So we talked about the ability to do that tonight, but in this workshop, we actually show you how to put your planner together in order to meet your needs and make sure that your um, planner is exactly what you and your family want it to be for the year. We also have our cover collection for you. We have so many beautiful covers from all over the years um, and you get access to all of them as a bonus in the planner this year. So we have florals, stripes, watercolors, geometric covers, so much more um, and you get access to all of them. I think it's 
I know it's at least over 20 different covers, but I think it might be over 30 at this point. Gloria, you change your cover each season. I love that. So you can print out the covers. We have front and back options for you. Another thing I love to do with the back is I'll print off the back option, which is the same as the front, except it doesn't have the um, label on it. So like for this one, it would just be the striped page. And I love to use those as dividers throughout my planner um, because they're still, you know, color coordinated, which we all love a good color coordination, right? All right. The last bonus during this launch is our booster pack. This is a fun little bonus where it lets you not have to wait until July to start planning. You know, this planner is dated July, 2023 through June, 2024, which means you wouldn't get to start using it for another two months, right? But instead of having to wait, we include the booster pack as a bonus during launch week where we are giving you May and June of 2023 so that you can start planning right away. This also includes all of the summer quarterly planning because you're gonna wanna do that right before June hits. So all of that is included in the booster pack and it's in our beautiful new design that I just love so much. So all of those three things, the planner setup workshop, the cover collection and the booster pack are included for free as bonuses for you during launch week. All right. Do we have our winners? Are we ready, Allison? I say, I think yes. Oh, yes. Allison has the winners all randomly chosen. Okay. Winner of giveaway number one is Beth Kotkin. Beth, we need you to email us at that email address that you see down below uh, so that we can get you your planner for free. Don't buy it tonight. We're going to give you one. All right, our second giveaway winner gets the pens and the highlighters and the, um, I can't think of the word, the disc bound punch. And that is Dion Waltermeyer. Dion, if you can email us, I need two things from you. I need your email address and I need your actually your, your mailing address so that I can send these straight to your door. They'll come from Amazon, not from me, but from Amazon. All right. Last one, the bundle where we have the planner and the goal setting system. <sighs> I'm going to say your name wrong. I'm really sorry. It is either Althea or Alethea Crossman. That's you. You have won the um, planning and goal setting bundle, Alethea, Althea Crossman. I'm really sorry. I hate it when I say people's names wrong. I, I, I hope I said it right. <laughs> um, send us an email so that we can get that dropped into your account, um, tonight. All right. Okay. Winners are done. We've talked about bonuses. Now it's time just for you. If you are still here live, you get early access to the planner right now. This right here is a special link that is just for your eyes only. It is not the same as um, <clears throat> the link that will come out tomorrow. So you have the ability, the freedom to go purchase the planner or the update pack or either one of the bundles right away. Stephanie, if you could drop that link right there into the chat so people can just click on it. Okay, Alethea. All right, thank you for, for phonetically writing out your name. I will not mess it up in the future. Alethea, you won. Send me your email. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Yep, okay, Allison and Stephanie both dropped the link in the chat so you can click right on it and um, go ahead and purchase it right away. It's open just for you guys. If you're here live, nobody else. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Now the question and answers. All right. We've got a lot of people here and I know I saw a lot of questions come through. So I'm going to work through the 
list that I already have um, from a bunch of you. Allison, if you could, I don't know what happened on the screen right here. If you could figure out how to delete these, if that's possible. Looks like maybe someone accidentally drew on the screen. Um, but I will, I will go through and answer your questions. Okay. Yes. All right. So many questions. Let's get started. Okay. Is the upgrade system new, the update pack new? If I have a previous version, can I do that? Or is the update pack only starting after today? No, we have done the update pack since we have started the planner. So if you have, um, if you have bought a previous version of the planner and you want the new things that we have just added in this season, buy the update pack only or the, or the update pack with the bundle. Um, you really get the option. What I do want to say is if you have not bought the update pack with each release, then you may be missing something. Um, because each update pack just includes the new things for this version of the planner. So if you want to, if you want to email us and ask, um, it, okay, here's what I'll say. If you bought the planner, if you have the 2023 planner and you bought it for January through December of this year, then all you would need right now is the update pack to get the four new layouts, all the Sunday starts, and the monthly calendars. If you have an older version of the planner and you have not bought any update packs in the past, then you may want to buy the whole new planner this time because um, as of this last fall, we have a brand new design. Our reflect and refresh pages are super upgraded and beautiful um, and a lot more um, just thoughtful and practical for you. And um, every release we do offer new layouts. And so if you don't want to miss out on anything, then buy the whole new planner unless you've purchased the upgrade or the update pack every single time. All right. Can it be used digitally only? I'm trying to move over from paper to digital. Absolutely. We have a lot of our customers who actually use it um, on an app called GoodNotes. It, what you get is you get a PDF files of the planner pages. And so you would upload the PDF into GoodNotes and then you can use them. You can write right on them. You can add pictures. You can highlight. You can do whatever you would like using an app like GoodNotes. Um, you can't use it digitally outside of using an app like GoodNotes. You need a, an app that helps you um, be able to like engage with the PDF, if that makes sense. Laura, do you offer workshops that we can purchase and attend to help us do tasks with you in real time? We offer monthly workshops through our membership, the Anchored Life Club, and we do two different workshops every month in there. We do a monthly planning workshop, and then we do a coaching call where we talk through one specific area of your life or your home, and we work through our um, prioritize planning method inside of that coaching call. We'd love to have you inside of the Anchor Life Club if you haven't joined us yet. It's really fun. So um, all of our like live teaching happens inside of the membership. All right. Um, Diana, is there a way to link Google Calendar and Outlook to the digital version of the planner? No, because you're writing right on to your GoodNotes app uh, when you use it digitally. Do you need a special hole punch to use in the planner? You need a special hole punch only if you're going to use the disc binding option. Um, the disc binding option needs a disc binding punch. Um, the pages look like this when you punch them out. So it's different than your average three ring binder, um, three ring hole punch. But if you're going to put the planner into a three ring binder, all you need is a regular three ring binder punch. All right, Don, does it come with those dividers to the ones that were in the previous slide? No, um, because our, because the planner is, um, a printable planner, you would, um, 
sorry, Allison just dropped a note for me. Okay. Um, the dividers are a separate purchase and not from me. You can use any dividers that you want. I love these dividers and I'll show them to you real quick. Um, I use the dividers from Inkwell Press. Um, they have these little blue stickers that go on the side and I really, I really like them because they match the planner. Um, but you can use whatever dividers you choose in the size that you want to, um, to use. So basically, like if you're using a three ring binder, you're going to buy dividers for your three ring binder. If you're using the disc binding system, they have both full size and this right here. Some I saw someone ask about the happy planner. This is the same exact size as the happy planner. So um, one thing I've done in the past is I bought a happy planner with a cover and dividers that I really like. And I just pull out all of the pages and I put the cover and the dividers in with the SOS planner pages <clears throat> that like color coordinate. Sometimes you can get a happy planner on sale for like 10 bucks and then it's a pretty cheap investment. Okay, since you jot down memories on your planner pages, do you have a system for transferring them or do you keep your pages long term? I don't keep my weekly pages. I do tend to keep those look back pages and I have an entire shelf <laughs> down the bottom over here of, of old planners with all of that in it. Um, Lisa, what makes this different than the ARC style at Staples? Nothing, the ARC system is the same thing as disc binding. So I actually have, I think my, my punch is the ARC. Yep, my whole punch is the ARC brand. You can buy it at Staples. You can buy it on Amazon. Totally up to you. Um, that is that is part of the the disc binding system is just like the name of the the tool. Does that make sense? Um, okay. What size is the planner? So you can print the planner in three different sizes. We have instructions for it. You can actually print the planner in whatever size you want to, but we give you instructions for three different sizes. Um. And the full size is a regular eight and a half by 11. The uh, mid size is, I think it's like, no, it's seven, it's seven by nine. It's seven by nine. And it is exactly the same size as your happy planner. Um, the pages fit right into the same thing as your happy planner. And then we also have a half size that is like an A5, which is about a half sheet of standard paper. So five and a half by eight and a half. We have instructions for, for printing every one of those sizes inside the planner. What do you do with your old planners? Save them or toss them. Last time I threw, last year I threw away my old planners and now I wish I had kept them. It's really just a space issue, right? Like if you have space, you can keep them. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, like I said, I have a very full shelf of planners, old planners down here. Um, but typically I don't keep like my weekly or daily layouts. I just keep um, my like goal stuff, my reflection pages and those kind of things. The things that are more journal than anything else. Jesse, I have such a hard time letting go of old planners. I know, I know it's like everybody has their own um, system for what you do with old planners. I can't get rid of books. So, you know, that's my thing. Um, okay, can the pages be printed in different sizes? Yes, we went over that one. Since you don't have to choose layouts, this daily plan would be great to add when you have those really busy days and weeks. Yes, absolutely. Um, and like I said, I don't have it here. I wish I did. That would have been a good idea. But I like I have my regular planner. This is my regular planner. And then I have in a smaller size, in, in the half size, I print out those daily pages so that I can just use those on the days that I really need it. All right. If I'm already using the planner for the year, is there any reason to get the planner now rather, rather than wait until fall? Will the new layouts and the Sunday start layouts be in the update pack? So great question. If you already have the 2023 planner and you aren't planning on buying another one until fall, then you, you don't need to buy a new planner right now. You don't. You could buy the update pack um, if you want the four new layouts and the Sunday starts. So 
in the fall, those four layouts and the, all the Sunday starts will, will move into the complete planner. They won't be in the update pack in the fall because that update pack will be our new releases for that launch. So um, if you, here's what I would do. If you have the 2023 planner and you know that you just want to buy update packs coming up, then all you need to do is buy the update pack this time. If you have the complete planner and you're planning on buying a whole new planner each year, then wait until the fall to buy anything and purchase the complete planner then. What I want to make sure you understand is that these four layouts and the Sunday starts will not be in the fall's update pack because they are in this current update pack. And the update pack changes every single launch with just the new things in it. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, what if you want the goal system but only need the update for the SOS planner? Great question. We have the SOS plan or we have the update pack uh, in a bundle with the goal setting system as well. So you can buy the complete the complete planner and the goal setting system together in a bundle, or you can buy the update pack and the goal setting system together in a bundle. Totally up to you, but either way, you can still get that anchored goal setting system. Um, does it matter if you order today or later in the week? No, it doesn't matter if you order today or later in the week. I just wanted to let you start ordering tonight because um, I just really appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me. And I wanted to give you a little bit of a surprise instead of having to wait for tomorrow. If you don't want to order until later this week, absolutely take your time. The launch prices and the bonuses will disappear after next Monday. Next Monday at midnight, all of those things go away and all the prices go back to our standard price, $47 for the planner. Um, I think it's $22 for the update pack. And the um, the goal setting system is typically $47 as well. So my suggestion would just be to purchase it before launch week is over if you know that you really want it. Okay, if I have the planner, what is not included in the update pack? Or what should I buy? I don't totally understand that question. Um. The only things in the update pack this time are the monthly calendars for July 2023 through June of 2024. Um, the update pack does also include all the bonuses that I talked about tonight. I forgot to mention that. And then it includes the four new layouts and 13 weekly layouts with the Sunday start option. All of our weekly layouts, there's just 13 with the Sunday start option. Okay. I know there's just so many questions. We're not getting all of them on here. Um, let's see. I'm going to start scrolling through and seeing if I can find any other questions. If you have a question that I have not answered yet, would you um, drop it down to the bottom of, of the chat so that I can make sure to answer it? Okay. Dion says, pick somebody else. Okay. Totally. That is very, very gracious of you, Dion. So Allison randomly picked another person and that is Sharon Beasley. Sharon, if you are here still, make sure to email us um, and we will send you that. Let's see, Dion, I think you won the second, the second giveaway, right? So that is so nice of you to pass it on to somebody else. Thank you. Um, let's see. Yeah, it was the it was the second giveaway. So Sharon, if you um can email us your mailing address as well, because I'm gonna need to send those to you through Amazon. Yay! Oh, good, you're excited. I'm so glad. Thank Dion. She passed it on to you. That's so fun. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and catch your questions at the end here. I saw someone say I have the same question as Tanya, but I can't find Tanya's question. trying to scroll up. Oh, where is the weekly productivity layout with a Monday start? 
uh, that's in the complete planner, the weekly productivity plan, uh, weekly productivity layout with the Monday start and the Sunday start are in the complete planner. They are the Sunday start option is in the update pack, only the Sunday start option because all the weekly layouts with the Sunday start option are also in the update pack. Okay, what would you suggest for a personal and teacher planner together? Okay, wait, Tanya says, sorry, I'm gonna come back to that. Is there a time when all the layouts are in the full planner? All the layouts are always in the full planner, always. So the full planner includes everything. All weekly layouts in a Monday start, all weekly layouts in a Sunday start, and all daily layouts. All of that is in the full planner. When you purchase the planner, at, you are getting every single thing that we've ever included in the planner at that time. Does that make sense? So if you just don't, it's just that if you don't want to buy the full planner again, because you're happy with what you already have, but maybe you want the new layouts, then you just buy the update pack. But if you want everything all at once, it's always in the full planner. The full planner never is missing anything. Does that make sense? So if I need to clarify that, let me know. Okay, what would you suggest for a personal and a teacher planner together? That's a great question. Um, I love that family manager layout for um, homeschooling, even for um, teaching in a classroom. That would work really well. But we also have a homeschool lesson planner that works, uh, that can work in the classroom as well. Um, and a lot of times, what I will do is I will just take my regular planner. And I'll divide it into two sections. The front will be my personal planner and the back will be my homeschool planner. So um, you have the option of doing that as well. Let's see. Do you have a launch for a planner that begins in January? I always, I already have my planner for the year. Love your planner. Yes, Joyce, we do. So we always launch planners twice a year. We launch them um, you know, I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that it's a little bit better. There we go. Um, we launch planners twice a year. Um, and that is because everybody likes to plan a little bit differently, right? So some people really enjoy the January to December planner, and some people want to plan with the school year. So we launch the SOS planner twice a year. Our 2024 planners will launch in October. I hope that helps. Oh, taking it off of sharing my screen actually gives me such a better view of all of your questions. Okay. Would you please explain what is dated and what is not dated in the planners? Great question, Katie. So your monthly layouts in the planner are dated for July, 2023 through June, 2024. Every single monthly layout is dated. So that two spread, that two page spread of a calendar option is right there in the planner with all the dates in it for you. All of the weekly layouts and the daily layouts are undated. That way you can switch them out whenever you want. Um, the daily layouts have a very easy like circle the day at the top of the page. Um, the weekly layouts have a spot for you to write in your dates for that week. We do it that way so that you can switch out the layouts whenever you want. You can print out as many of them as you want, and you don't have to worry about wasting paper. Uh, one thing that we had found when we were dating every single layout was that everybody was like, well, when I change my layout, or maybe I just don't use my planner for a week, then I feel like I've wasted that page that I didn't use. And so in order to avoid that and continue making it more flexible for you. We have all of those weekly and daily layouts undated. So you can switch them up, put them in your planner whenever you want. All right. Can we use the planner in Trello? We don't have a Trello board that is the same as the planner, but you're welcome to create one or take what the, um, like the aspects of the planner are and put that into a Trello board. You totally can do that. Uh, we don't have a Trello board already created for you though. Um, Oksana, what paper do you recommend printing the planner on? Love talking about paper, I really do. So I like um, 
we have all of this in the planner. Uh, in, in our Amazon shop, we have all of our planner recommendations for you. So if you want to head there and look at everything you can, um, Stephanie, maybe if you could drop that link in the in the chat, that would be great. Um, the, sorry, I just had a different thought. Um, the paper that I recommend is is uh, 28 pound paper. Um, I like Hammer Mill as a brand of paper. If you want it really thick, you can go 32 pound, but I have found that the 28 pound is sturdy enough to really hang out in my disc binder well um, and give that good like writing feel without um, without the like bleed or the where you can see through the page. I don't love that. So 28 pound is like the perfect blend. I just realized that what I did when I stopped sharing my screen is I took down the link for you if you want to purchase the planner. So I'm gonna go back to that just in case. I don't want you to be without it. Okay. Okay, back to the chat. Let's see. Answering questions, please, if you have more questions, drop it in the chat so that I can make sure I don't, I don't want to skip anybody. Um, Emmy, is the planning system in the bundle the same system we walk through in the yearly planning workshop we attend in December? I think you're talking about the goal setting system. Um, we we talk, it, it is this, it's not the same thing. Um, <clears throat> it is in the yearly, in the yearly planning workshop, what we do is we kind of talk through the goals and how, and how to set them. Um, but much more brief than what the goal setting system goes into. So the goal setting system really has a lot more reflection questions. It helps you um, break down your goals into smaller pieces. We have specific worksheets for breaking down project goals versus habit goals. Like the project goals have their own worksheet and the habit goals have their own worksheet. Um, the goal setting system is just much more robust than what we are able to get into during the plan your year live workshop that we do in December. Let's see. Can you repeat what you said about the dividers you use? Yeah, so I use I use um, dividers that are made for a disc bound system, and I use them the ones that Inkwell Press sells. Um, there's tons of different ones you can find online, but these are my favorites. Um, because they are sturdy, they're plastic, they're see-through, so I can still see all my planner pages, and, um, the, like, the colors of them match the colors of the planner, so that's my favorite. Um, did goal setting come with any of the previous packages? So I think you're saying, has the goal setting system ever been a part like a bundle with the planner before? Um, yes, but not for quite a few years. If you're wondering if you have the goal setting system already in your account, just log into your account and click on my courses. And if it's in there, it'll show up there. Okay, Linda, not specific to this planner, but do you have any advice for staying consistent with using a paper planner? Yes, have it out on your counter all day long. Um, have it in a place where you are able to look at it on a regular basis. If you work in an office or outside of your home, take it with you. Uh, having I, I two things, having it out where I can see it all the time and having the planner be my home base for where I write everything down helps me to continue using it consistently. Also, just in general for habit setting, um, I will always put a reminder on my phone. <laughs> so if you can set an alarm to check your planner, like first thing in the morning or before you go to bed at night, or maybe both, um, that like I am a alarm setting maniac because I, ne I need the reminders. I need the reminders. So I hope that helps. Um, okay, Candice. 
if I'm not ready to switch to this system to start in January 2024 from another planner that I'm using, what is the best pri price I can purchase it? I don't want to copy my July and December plans into a new planner at this time. Then Candace, I would not buy the planner now. I would wait until October and purchase the planner that goes from January to December. That way you can finish the current planner you have. And when you buy the new planner in October, um, it'll be dated for the entire calendar year, which is what it sounds like you want. <clears throat> okay, if you purchase the printable vault, do you still need to purchase the update pack? Great question, Kathleen. Yes, the planner itself is not in the printable vault. The planner is a separate product. The printable vault is a collection of printables that you can you could add to your planner or you can use around your home um, in a home organization binder or on your fridge or whatever you want and, and possibly add it to your planner, but it does not include the planner. So if you want the new layouts, you would want to buy the update pack. Tanya, does the full planner not update in courses? No, no. The full planner is new every launch. Um, and so because it is dated, uh, you would purchase either the new planner or the update pack each year. Uh, it is not a single purchase that like you get access to for, for all the updates. You would want to purchase whatever the updates are. I hope that makes sense. Um, oh yes, I also did say that sometimes I'll print the, the back cover and use those as dividers as well. Laminate those and use those as dividers too. Okay, Debbie, if I wait until the fall, will I get the new weekly layouts in the update purchase? I first ordered the planner last fall, 2022. <clears throat> okay, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I need a little bit of water. Okay. Good question, Debbie. The update pack changes every launch. So if you want these new layouts, you would want to buy this update pack, or you would you could buy the full planner again in, in the fall of 2023, later this year, um, because we'll have like a few more layouts that we add in the fall. We add new things in our fall launch and in our spring launch. And so each update pack only includes the um the stuff for that launch so if you want the four new layouts and the sunday starts then you want to buy the update pack right now or wait until the fall and purchase the full planner then <laughs> andrea do any of the layouts incorporate elements from the anchored home system so we have a brand new course this year called your anchored home uh, it's actually the opposite, Andrea. So the Your Anchored Home course includes a planner layout for the SOS planner that you can actually edit and put your own um, clean and tidy list straight into. So if you have the, the Your Anchored Home system, then uh, you may want to use that planner layout that has the clean and tidy list built in. Susan, how do you get new layouts for the second half of 2024? You can purchase the update pack in a year and it will have, all our update packs always have the brand new months in it. Let's see, Tanya, if you're not sure when you purchase the planner, if you go into your account, you can see what year it is right there on the cover. Um, of the of the actual, like if you click into my courses, you'll be able to see, it'll say SOS planner for 2022 or SOS planner 2021. And so then you'll be able to see where you purchased it. With the October layout launch, will there be new layouts for 2024? Yes, we always throw in a, at least a couple of new layouts each season. Okay, so let's see. 
Love the undated planner pages. Thank you for keeping your colors low ink friendly as well. Yeah, the new with the new design that we just launched in the fall, um, this is a lot easier on your printer. Um, okay, good question. Any tips on how to remember to visit the different parts of the planner, like the goal tracking, etc.? I put, um, oh, I don't have it. Oh, here it is. I put a bookmark in, in a bunch of different places where I want to um, <clears throat> go back and visit. I also can use washi tape, like different colors of washi tape to stick onto a page. And you are like, I have, I have it kind of up above the page as a flag, um, to go back to it. But I also like, if there are things that I want to make sure to go back to, I will write it into my weekly layout. Go check your goal tracker, go check your to be read list, whatever it might be. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I get all of your questions. Is there a link to your dividers in the planner resources? That's a good question. I don't know. I will I will go and add that inside the planner. Okay, Jen, how can I send this session to my friend? I'm gonna upload this once we're done with this. I'll it'll take a little bit of time, but I'll download the replay and then I'll upload it to YouTube and I will send that link out to everybody. So we'll send that out probably late tonight. Um but at least by tomorrow morning, for sure. Tanya, when was the weekly productivity layout released? I think it was a year ago. I think it was a year ago, um, 2023. But you can look inside of the planner that you have. And if it's not in the weekly layouts, then um, you'd want to purchase the new planner in order to purchase that. Rachel, do you have the refresh your year live and plan your seasons live sessions this year? Great question. So um, at the in December every year, we do a plan your year live event. Um, and so we will still have that in December. We don't have one planned for the summer this year um, for the whole year. But what we do have is seasonal. We do seasonal planning, uh, quarterly planning, and you can purchase those in the shop. So that would be, we'll do the summer one coming up here soon. Um, and then we have obviously the fall, winter, spring, and summer, all of those. Okay, let's see. You guys are troopers sticking in here until the end here. Rachel, I have a course called Planning and Goal Setting Workshop. It is not the same thing as the Anchored Goal Setting course. It is not. That is, that is, um, more of like our plan your year live event. I'm a book hoarder and sometimes accidentally buy a book I already have. Do you have a system for keeping up with what books you own? No, I do not, Lisa. I am, I do the same thing as you. <laughs> it would probably be a great idea if I had a page in the back of my planner for all of the books I own. I actually, I think we have a page like that inside the printable vault, but I don't normally use it. Oh, Ginger, you're using the anchored home layout with the daily brain dump. I love that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. My my hope with the anchored home course was to really make it um, integrated with the planner super, super well so that you can just have one place to have all your stuff. <clears throat> How do you find all the different printables and such that you add to your planner? Do you have a hundred dividers or group them or what? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't have a hundred dividers, but I have dividers in the back for the stuff that I really want. Um, so I have like, I have a section for lists in the planner. I have a section for notes and I have a section for projects. And so all of the extra stuff that I put in there typically falls into one of those categories. If I need something to stand out, like I said, I put washi tape on it, that stuff. Jesse, yes, the Anchored Home um, course has an editable planner layout. That was one of the bonuses. It was really fun. I can't do that for every single planner layout, but we did it for that one. Let's see. Oh, Jen has a good suggestion. Magnetic bookmarks are great. They click to a single page and then you can move them around to find different pages easily. Yeah, that would be a good idea too. 
Um, does it matter if we order tonight or later this week? Nope. As long as you order before Monday at midnight, you'll get those launch discounts and all of the bonuses. Let's see, will there be a replay? Yes, I will send it out later tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, Julie, am I going to cover the homeschool planner? Great question. So the homeschool planner is a separate product um, and we are actually going to do, we haven't announced this yet, but we're planning to um, focus on homeschooling for the month of July. And so Stephanie and I are working together on that to come up with some really fun homeschooling content for you. And there will be a special launch for that planner, um, for the homeschool lesson planner coming up then. Let's see. Oh, Sarah has a handy library book app. That is a great suggestion for keeping track of your books. Okay, I think I'm getting closer to the end. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, perfect. Oh, Susan, sorry, my battery phone died and I, my phone battery died. And I didn't get the answer to my question. How do I get the new layouts for the end of 2024? Great question. So um, we will like, we release this planner in May of every year. So this one is dated July, 2023 through June of 2024. Next year we'll launch June, July of 2024 through June of 2025. So um, you can either purchase the update pack or the brand new planner, but you'll be able to get those at that time. If you prefer to plan from January to December, I would say don't buy the planner right now. Wait until the October launch and then um, you will be able to get January 2024 through through December and you'll be on that same schedule. Does that make sense? Okay, if you're not seeing where to buy the update pack, um, right underneath, like at the very top of the of this link right here, when you click through to this link, um, you can see underneath that very first button, it says, if you just need the update pack, click here. And that's what you would click on. If you're using the anchored homepage for the planner, would you still use the look ahead and look back pages with it? It really just depends on how you plan, Debbie. Um, if you like to sit down and just get everything onto your weekly layout, then you may not need the look ahead page. Um, I like to use the look ahead page because that's like my master task list for the week. And then I can work from there. Um, but I would always use the look back pages if I wanted to keep track of memories. I have the homeschool planner, Tina, and use pages from it too. I love being able to mix and match from all the resources. Yay, I love that you do that. We try and make them color coordinated. Um, Trina, is the link to purchase working? I think so. It should be working. Let's see. I'm going to double check, but it should be. Okay. Yeah, it looks okay to me. Allison or Stephanie, can you guys check it? This launch works perfectly for the Missouri homeschool year. July to June. Oh, yay. I'm so glad. Good, good. Will the October new layouts be available in an update pack? Absolutely. Yes. Whatever we come out with new in October will be in the update pack then. Do you think you'll always include Sunday starts in future update packs? I will include the Monday and the Sunday start for the new layouts. Um, if you're going back for all the ones we've already released, this is the only update pack that will include all of those. Um, Cause that is the Sunday start is something new. We added just this launch. Okay, I did it. All of the questions. <laughs> I think we are all set. So you guys, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. If you still have a question and you didn't wanna answer it here, 
um, please feel free to email us. Our email address is hello at anchor-women.com. Uh, we are more than happy to answer all your questions, help you figure out if the planner is right for you or not, and um, get you any of the links that you need. So thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, congratulations to all of the winners and you how I'm going to, I'm going to close this right now. So this link is going to disappear. So if you want to purchase it, um, just jot it down or click on that link before there you go. Allison dropped it in the comments. Um, click on that before we close the meeting right now. Um, but for all of your friends that might want to buy the planner, everything goes live first thing tomorrow morning. So uh, you'll get emails and all of that stuff to um, have links that you can share and uh, whatever else you need. But anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for being as excited about planners as we are. Um, I'm just so grateful for all of you. And uh, that's it. We'll wrap it up there. Have a great night and we will talk to you hopefully sometime this week. Bye friends.